Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation, let us start by getting rid of this fraction. And of course, to do that, we cross multiply. When we do this, we have that the numerator times 1, that is log 2 to the power x plus x plus 4, is going to be equal to the denominator times 1. That is x minus x log 5. Of course, you know that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that the base of the logarithm, in this case 10, because remember, when we do not specify the base of the logarithm, it means we are working in base 10, common logarithm. So the base of the logarithm raised to this power is going to be equal to this quantity. That is, 2 to the power x plus x plus 4 is going to be equal to 10 to the power x minus x log 5. Now let us look at this right hand side. Of course, you know that we can write this as 10 to the power x multiplied by 10 to the power minus x log Five. Because remember the law of indices that says that a to the power m multiplied by a to the power m is equal to a to the power m plus n. In this case, a is 10, m is x, n is minus x log 5. And of course, m plus n is going to be x minus x log Five. Next, let us express 10 as a product of its prime factors. This will be equal to 2 times 5. And of course, both will be raised to power x. And then, of course, you know that we can write this as 10 to the power minus x to the power log 5. Because when we have two powers like this, all we do is to multiply two of them. And when you multiply this by this, you're going to get that. But also remember that when we have two powers like this, we can switch their places. So this can also be written as here, you have two to the power x, you have five to the power x, and this can be written as 10 to the power log five to the power minus x. But then remember that when we have a, to the power log to base a of b that this is equal to b so that means that 10 to the power log to base 10 of 5 is going to be equal to 5 so this right hand side is equal to 2 to the power x multiplied by 5 to the power x multiplied by 5 to the power minus x and of course combining the two numbers with the same base this is going to be equal to 2 to the power x multiplied by 5 to the power x minus x. This is equal to 2 to the power x multiplied by 5 to the power 0. But of course, anything raised to power 0 is 1. So this is equal to 2 to the power x. Now let us rearrange this equation. We have 2 to the power x minus 2 to the power x plus x plus 4 is equal to 0. Of course, this is going to take care of that, leaving us with x plus 4 is equal to 0. From where we have that, x is equal to minus 4. Now, let us check the answer that we have. Substituting minus 4 for x into this equation, we have log 2 to the power minus 4 minus 4 plus 4 divided by minus 4 minus minus 4 times log 5. In the numerator, minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. So we are left with log 2 to the power minus 4 divided by minus minus is plus 
So the denominator is going to be minus 4 plus 4 log 5. Factorizing the denominator, we have log 2 to the power minus 4 divided by minus 4 divided by minus 4 is 1. And plus 4 log 5 divided by minus 4 is minus log 5. Now, of course, we can apply the power law to the numerator. We can bring down this power to become a multiplier. When we do that, we have minus 4 log 2 as the numerator. And this is over minus 4 multiplied by 1 minus log 5. This is going to take care of this. But of course, we can write 1 as log 10. So this is equal to log 2 divided by log 10 minus log 5. And applying the laws of log reading, the law that says that log a minus log b is equal to log a over b. The denominator can be written as log 10 over 5. And this is equal to log 2 divided by 5 into itself is 1 and into 10 is 2. So we have log 2. Of course, this takes care of that to give us 1. And that is what we have. And with that, we come to the end of today's ex exercise. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.